Let's explore the architecture of Xamarin Forms project. Well, if you look at the Solution Explorer, then it's quite clear that we have three projects inside the solution. The one is basically the .NET standard project and we will write all the code in this project. And the remaining two projects are Xamarin Android and Xamarin iOS. In this course, we will try to share the code as much as possible without going into these projects. Because in this course, we want to create everything with Xamarin Forms. So let's start from this .NET standard project where we are going to write everything. Well, the first thing is dependencies. What that means is if you want to install any plugin or a library into your project, then the plugin or a library or any DLL file will go into this dependencies section. If we expand this further, then you will see that we have two other options. The one is NuGet and the second is SDK. The NuGet is used to hold all the references of plugin and libraries that we will install in near future. And this SDK is used to hold the .NET standard library reference. All right, next we have app.xaml file. Well, there are two flavors of this file. The one is xaml file and the other is app.xaml.cs file. CS mean it's a C sharp file. Let's open the first one. Well, this file is used to define the styles so that we can share those styles throughout the project. And this app.xaml.cs file is basically used to register the main page of our application. And it's also used to handle the application lifecycle. Next, we have mainpage.xaml and mainpage.xaml.cs file. Well, as the name suggests, this mainpage.xaml is the XAML page and this page is used to define the UI of our application. And the other page that is mainpage.xaml.cs is the C-sharp page or we can say it's the code behind page of this XAML file. And we will write all the C-sharp code of our application in this page. Now in the app.xaml.cs file, you will see that in the constructor of the page, there is a main page and it's targeting this main page. So it means that if we run this application, then by default, this main page will be executed. And in the main page, we have just one control and that is label. And the text value of this label is welcome to Xamarin Forms. And the horizontal and vertical options are in the center of the screen. Well, let me change this value from welcome to Xamarin Forms to welcome to real world course. And now we need to run this application. Well, if you want to run this application on Android, then just pick the startup project from this drop down menu. And let's run this on Android emulator. Or if you have Android device, then it's perfect. All you need to do is just enable the developer mode on your Android phone and then connect the phone with your laptop via USB cable and Wheel Studio will detect it automatically. If not, then you will need to install the USB driver for your Android device. Alright, I'm gonna run this on Android emulator. So let's run this application. And you will see that my emulator is starting and it will take some time to load into the memory. And after some time, you will see that now my emulator is running and right now it's gonna load this application and here we go. You can see that we have just one label in our application and the horizontal and vertical options are in the center of the screen. All right, let's go back to the wheel studio. And now I'm going to add a tab page inside my project. So what I'm gonna do is I'll simply right click on the project and add new item and then just select this tab page. Now let's name this tab page to home page. All right, let's add it inside our project and here we go. You can see that we have a tab page named as homepage.xaml and homepage.xaml.cs file. Well, we will write the code inside our tab page.xaml file. But before this, Let's remove this main page because we don't need this main page. All right. After that, let's switch to the 
app.xaml.ch file and there inside the constructor of this app.xaml.ch file let's register the main page equals home page well this time we want to display the home page as a root page of our application all right if we go to this tab page then you will see that by default we have three content pages don't worry we will remove these as we move forward in this course but let me run this application so that we can explore this tab page all right you can see that we have a tab page with three childs well that's awesome but we need to add our custom pages inside this tab page so we will add the pages inside this tab page in the next module